let's do a self-care night. You guys, I am like so stressed out right now. I don't even know why. We're about to treat ourselves. I feel like it's very much well deserved. I've been working so hard. I know a lot of you guys have noticed that I've been like trying to like up my consistency and I've been posting a lot more frequently. But y'all behind the scenes, it has been stressful. It just has. So I think I definitely deserve a self-care night and just a night to treat myself. Have my margarita already. We are pre-gaming. A bitch is grown now. A bitch is grown. Yeah, you know. It's a good thing, 21. But I decided to do a self-care night tonight because my grandparents went out of town and they asked me to watch their house and I can actually take a bath at my parents' house. The bathtub is just not it. I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of the fact that I have a nice bathtub to use and I'm going to be taking a bubble bath. I brought all my skincare products. I brought everything to my grandparents' house. House, so that way I can have a fun self-care night. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. If you have been needing to have a self-care night or you've just been needing a night to relax, then definitely take this as your sign that you need to do it. Bite the bullet, let's do it together. Let's have a great night, let's treat ourselves, and let's just enjoy the moment. I got a blowout today by my girl Haley, so I'm feeling very much pampered and beautiful. It's kind of fell at this point, but it still looks really good. It still looks really good. However, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our greens. I need my greens right now. My stomach is so blue. Loaded. My digestion is just like all out of whack and I need my greens to save the day. I'm about to go make my greens and then we're going to have a bubble bath and we're just going to relax and unwind and just enjoy the night. I'm by myself. I have my own company and you guys, but I'm excited. Let's do it. If you don't know what greens are at this point, you've probably been living under a rock, but no, seriously, if you don't know, greens help to balance your gut health, clear skin, boost energy, and also aid in digestion. Bloom is actually made with over 30 plus organic fruits, veggies, probiotics and more and is recommended to use daily. I usually drink mine in the morning when I wake up alongside my daily vitamins and I've definitely noticed a huge difference after drinking greens and just with my overall digestion and the way my stomach looks after I've ate. I'll have the link to Bloom's Greens in my description box down below and you can also use my code to save on your purchase. You guys, I'm not even kidding when I say this tastes so good with orange juice. I know you've probably seen a bunch of creators use water, which you can make your greens with water, but it tastes 10 times better when you drink it with orange juice. Like, I think that is definitely the way to make it, like, drinkable. Because I'm not even going to cap with y'all. I don't really like the taste of greens, but when I mix it with orange juice, it tastes so good. I also have the mango flavor, so I think that, like, ties in together. But whenever I mix this with orange juice, y'all... It is so good. It is so good. Mm, this gonna get me right. <laughs>
see the benefits or see the results of them but it's really important that you drink your greens honestly you'll thank me later i promise you you and your gut will thank me later I'm kind of bored i'm in here by myself i'm in this house all by myself i'm kind of bored so i thought i would just chit chat with you guys hopefully that's okay honestly all this bath feels good as fuck and this aroma of these bubbles just smells so good honestly i've been needing to do something like this for a really long time now i feel like i just don't treat myself enough like i work so hard and then i don't like i don't applaud my efforts or like the things that i do and i almost like seek that validation through other people sometimes like for other people to tell me they're proud of me or for other people to treat me when i'm doing something good you know but it's up to myself to treat myself i should do more nice things for myself i should should applaud myself more i should tell myself more that i'm proud of myself because really like at the end of the day we are all we have we might have great people in our lives here and there but at the end of the day the only person you can rely on is yourself so you need to treat yourself as if you would treat anybody else like if you would do something so nice for someone else you should be able to do the same thing for yourself that's what i'm trying to do here you know i'm trying to treat myself because i'm a queen and i deserve queen treatment so that's what we're gonna give ourselves tonight can y'all see me? If we're in the bathtub together right now, like not obviously together, but like if you're taking a bath with me right now, comment that bathtub emoji. We're bathtub twins. We're doing a self-care night together. I have a few different options. I brought this one from Verse Beauty. This is the instant resurfacing mask. It's kind of like a jelly, a jelly mask. You can see it. It's, it's literally a jelly. Like, it's straight up a jelly. But I have this one. And then I also brought this one, which is a aloe vera cream mask. So I think, like, kind of like a clay one. And then I also have a lip mask. And then this one is an eye sheet mask. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put this one on. My skin's already cleansed and everything. So I'm just going to open this up and use this one. I could not get it open. Oh, wait. This is like different. I thought this was going to be like a clay mask, but this is very much so not that. This is literally an aloe mask. Okay, period. Also, if y'all hear a little click, there's like a clock up here. I can't turn it off. So if y'all hear a little sound, that's what that is. I'm already one margarita down and I'm going to make another one whenever I go to read my book. But y'all, I'm already a margarita in, so I'm kind of feeling good. not even tell that i have a face mask on like obviously you can see but like from back here it says relax and enjoy for 15 minutes while the aloe vera goes to work then rinse with warm water and gently pat dry <laughs>
I just finished wiping off my mask. I read my book a little bit. Still got my margarita. We're still working on her. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'll feel a little tipsy. But alright, I'm really excited for this part of the video because I got some new skincare products. So I'm really excited to try them out with you guys. Firstly, I'm gonna start with a little bit of this Natrium BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I would say this is kind of like the Polish Choice BHA Liquid Exfoliant, but just a different brand. If you struggle with acne, I highly, highly suggest that you get a liquid exfoliant. I really do love the Polish Choice one, but I just started using this one. And so far, I like it. I haven't used it as long as I've used the Polish Choice one, so I can't really give you like a full recommendation on it just yet. Then, I freaking ordered Snail Mucinex. I don't know if y'all have seen this all over y'all's TikTok, but I surely have. And my friend Stephanie talks about it. This is Snail Mucinex, and apparently it's supposed to be really good for your skin and just like really hydrating, moisturizing. So I ordered this off of Amazon. This is a, I believe, a Korean skincare brand. And Korean skincare, y'all, is like the best skincare. I'm just not sure if I'm supposed to like apply serums and then this or what's the case. I think I'm going to apply my serums, then this, then moisturizer. If y'all know the proper way to use that product, then please let me know in the description box because this is my first time using it and I have honestly no, no earthly idea. Firstly, I'm going to start with the Natrium Niacinamide Serum. I think serums have been the biggest help with my skincare recently, especially salicylic acid, which I just got a new one that's also from Natrium, which I bought this serum by myself. Natrium did send me some products. They sent me the Niacinamide. I cannot say it correctly correctly niacinamide niacinamide i don't know I bought this from Amazon. This is a new one. Salicylic Acid Serum, which I really like salicylic acid because I feel like it helps me a lot with my acne. Ooh, this one's super liquidy. Like, this is super liquidy. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my skin. I just feel like this helps so much with, like, my acne and my acne scars and just preventing, like, all of those breakouts. Now we're gonna go in with the Snail Mucinex. I'm so excited to try this product. I literally cannot tell you guys how excited I am, but I'm just gonna do a couple pumps it's super gooey i think this is just supposed to really help with like the moisture of your skin my friend jasmine's an esthetician and she's been telling me that she's really wanted to try this product as well so i'm gonna have to give her all the details on if this product is good or not i love just sitting here and like really doing all these girly things like or not even girly like honestly a man could do skincare too but i just love the fact that like i know sometimes our skin routine seems like this long tiring process like i know if i go out for the night i do not want to come home and do my skincare like i dread coming home and doing my skincare at the end of the night but i'm gonna do it because like obviously i want my skin to be nice but then when you get nights to just like sit and enjoy it i love it because like it's just such like a beautiful process that like we take for granted sometimes but honestly just being able to just sit here do my skincare not have a worry in the world and just have fun and treat myself like that's amazing and honestly just something to be grateful for i just got this new product Product from Sephora today. This is the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Acid Face Cream. My friend Stephanie also uses this product. I'm getting all the skincare from Stephanie, but she uses this product in a lot of her videos, and I saw it today in the little like travel size section. I'm a whore for minis, y'all. I don't know if anybody else is like that. I love minis. Like, I love just being able to try the product before I buy the big size. So I always, always get minis, but I saw this in the mini section and I was is like i feel like it's just meant to be like it's literally meant to be like i've been thinking about getting the product and they just happened to have it in the minis and that was literally what i went into sephora today for like i literally just went in for minis i told julia before we went in i was like i literally just want to look at the minis i don't want anything full size i just want to look and see what they have in the mini section and they literally had this and i've been seeing so many people rave about it so i was really excited to pick it up next we have another glow recipe product this is the glow recipe avocado retinol eye cream i got this in i believe a boxy charm box and i really like it now i'm gonna put on some grande lash you guys everybody asked me what lash serum i use or how i get my lashes so long and i mean i've already had like pretty long lashes before i started using this but i use grande lash and honestly i can tell you i've seen a difference like my lashes are just a lot fuller and thicker i just feel like it's helped my lashes so much okay i have to hurry up my camera's literally about to die so before i switch my battery i'm just gonna use some of this cerave healing ointment as lip balm i I needed lip balm so bad y'all my lips have been so dry but yeah there's the 
skincare. Now I'm gonna change my battery and then I think we're gonna journal a little bit. I got this cute little journal from Five and Below the other day and I have yet to use it. So tonight is literally like the perfect night to start using it. I decided to sit on the ground to journal for a little bit. This is the journal that I was talking about. I am obsessed with this. I literally got it at, sorry y'all, there's the dog. But I literally got this at Five and Below and it's so cute. It has a little self-care one. It has a mindfulness tab and it also has a sleep and intuition tab. It just has really cute prompts in here and I'm really excited to use it. Whenever Deja was down here, we talked about how like whenever like Jasmine and Dwayne and everything we all had hung out, I was thinking back at those moments and I didn't realize like how precious of a moment it actually was. And I just wish I had like a gratitude journal or I mean, I do kind of like document my experiences through YouTube and I'm very grateful for that. But I just wish that sometimes I really took the time out of my day to like go back and write down things in my day that I was grateful for because there's so many things in my day that I am grateful for but that I don't take the time to like appreciate or recognize so therefore like I don't know I just am not as appreciative of them but I was thinking back and I was just like like we had such a good time we hung out with friends we celebrated my birthday we got to go to the club and we just had like the bestest time and I just remember talking back to her and being like that was such a precious moment and I'm very grateful for it and so I really just wanted to get a gratitude journal so that way I could like write down everything that I'm grateful for and just you know kind of like recognize those things more and also like whenever you put more gratitude out into the world more positivity will come your way I was just actually watching Reagan's new video Reagan 777 but I was just watching her video today and she was basically talking about how no matter what you go through to always act within love no matter if something happens to you you know like say like a bad situation happens and you're like I'm gonna try to like change who I am or not necessarily change who I am but I'm gonna grow a thicker skin and I'm gonna be more aware of things now and she was basically saying that like no matter what happens to you always live life through love because at the end of the day like whatever you put out into this world is what you're gonna get back so if you're lying if you're stealing if you're treating people poorly if you are putting negativity out into this world that's all you're gonna consistently get back and I think that is so so true and she also said something about to not be someone else's karma and that's also very true like you know sometimes you you think you see those tiktoks where girls are like i'm gonna start treating guys how they treat girls and stuff like that and i get you i get it but also at the same time whatever you're putting out into this world however you're treating other people it's always going to come back to you it might not come back to you right then and there but it's always going to come back to you the universe works in mysterious ways and literally everything you put out is going to come back to you and so i just thought like her message in her video was really powerful and she was basically saying like if you see this this is your sign that you needed to hear this and I definitely needed to hear that I just thought I would share kind of what I heard with you guys but yeah I'm gonna journal now I've just been talking I'm gonna journal now hungry you guys all I've had today was a little bit of my chipotle bowl and I didn't finish it but I have leftovers so I'm gonna go munch because I am hungry
I'm still eating my Chipotle and I'm watching Keep Sweet, Pray, and Obey. It's basically about like the FLDS. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not done a self-care night in a while, this is your sign that you need to do one. Everybody deserves to treat themselves here and there. And I'm not gonna even lie to you guys. I was feeling very stressed out before I did all of this, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I was just like worried about filming and I really wanted this video to be a good one for you guys and one that you guys could really enjoy. But overall, Overall, but overall I'm glad I did this for myself and I'm glad I got to just spend some time alone it's really really nice to get a moment of peace and quiet by myself since I don't really get that as often anymore since I don't really get that as often anymore it's just there's always something going on at my parents house but yeah I had a really good time tonight thank you guys for joining me with my self-care night I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up also comment the bubble emoji if you watched up until this point but I love you guys so much just remember that you are so so special and you are worth everything good in this world you deserve happiness you deserve greatness you deserve to achieve every single one of your dreams and goals that you have and if you don't have any goals right now or any big lifelong plans right now do not worry i promise you it is going to be okay life works in mysterious ways and even if you don't have it figured out right this second i promise you you will get it figured out but don't pressure yourself to feel like you have to have everything figured out right now because you don't i was also going through this time period where where, especially at the beginning of this year I felt like what well, still is the beginning of this year but more so like at the beginning beginning of this year I felt like everybody was making their vision boards and doing all of these things to get themselves ready for the new year and like they were going to be this new person and I just felt like I was really really behind like I felt like I wasn't at that point in my life yet I wasn't excited for the new year I didn't really know what my goals were and what I wanted to do with my life and I feel like seeing everybody post their like like vision boards and prep with me for 2023 and just all of that it really overwhelmed me honestly and even talking to some of my close friends like them talking about their goals and stuff like that it kind of overwhelmed me because I just I didn't feel like I was there and I want this to just be the reminder that you do not always have to be there you do not always have to be this like super productive person or this person who always has it figured out and I feel like in today's society it's almost like pushing that like narrative that you have to have things figured out you have to be hustling you have to be working you have to be so productive to have good days and just to remind you that like it's okay to go at your own pace it is okay to not have life all figured out it's okay to be exactly wherever you are at in life accept the reality of where you are at today and be grateful for the person that you are today because you're going to look back and be so grateful for that version of yourself i just want us to realize how beautiful we are in each and every moment of our life whether it's good or bad we're still beautiful and we're still deserving of great things even if we don't have it all figured out but yeah that's my ted talk for the night <laughs> hopefully y'all got some good positive information out of that but i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching today's video i really really appreciate you guys continuously supporting me i'm going on my fifth year it'll be five years on youtube in august of this year or just like consistently of posting and i have just built up the best community i feel like you guys never disappoint me and i hope that i never disappoint y'all i know we're not all perfect but you guys mean the absolute world to me and i'm so grateful for you guys every single time I say something like that I immediately get so emotional and I'm like I need to stop but yeah I just have so much love in my heart for you guys and I really really hope that shines through and that y'all can feel the authenticity behind when I say that but yeah I love you guys thank you for tuning in I will see you guys in my next one and I hope you guys have an amazing sleep sweet dreams sleep tight do not let the bed bugs bite and I'll see you guys in my next one bye